What's up? What's up? YouTube. I've been working on my purpose for some time now. For years, to be honest. And I just couldn't get to it. And I've been lucky enough to meet some people who helped me, put me on the spot. I'm in a group of men. We help each other hit goals. We're accountability buddies, essentially. And, and one of the things that we do is help each other figure out what the fuck's our purpose. What's our purpose? What are we here to do? And then and then to to go after it, build your life after that. And so what it's still a work in pro process, but what I'm here to do based on what I know right now, I'm here I am a voice for the animals, for nature, and for peace and understanding between human beings. I'm a voice for the animals, for nature, and for peace and understanding between human beings. Voice for the animals. I'm a voice for the animals because what the fuck? Go watch Earthlings. Go watch some Mercy for Animals videos. It's fucksville what we do to fucking animals. Treat them like commodities. They have animals have fucking feelings, man. Like we, we have dogs and cats, and we see them, you know, as as beings, as sentient beings. You know, are you sentients or not? But we, in Western culture, classify dogs and cats as pets. Why? Because we look at them. We know they're individual beings. They have fucking feelings. They hurt. Right? If you hit a dog, you hit a cat, they hurt, they love, they fucking love. Maybe it's not the same as us, but they fucking have feelings. We know they do. They're happy, they're sad. And yet, we're able to f treat other animals, some who are much smarter than dogs and cats, like fucking pigs. And we just treat them like fucking horse shit. Fuck horse shit, man. We fucking torture the fuck out of them. Cows. It's, see, and, and I don't think it's common sense because I went 31 years with, I was able to fucking ignore it. So it's not just common sense that, that what we do to animals is fucked up. Somehow we could block it out. We could, I even watched Earthlings or at least parts of it and I didn't connect it to my behavior. This was years ago, maybe like, 10 years ago or something and then I went vegan because of a juice fast I'll, I'll talk about it sometime but but we block out their fucking suffering man it's it's fucked up what we do to them we treat them worse than than even humans and that's a part of my purpose too is peace and understanding between human beings because we're all one I'm a kid from I was born in Pakistan brought to the US by my family I've grown up here what am I am I Pakistani am I American no America Pakistan these are just all made up sh fucking concepts that's not the truth the truth which is what I'm after I want the fucking truth. And the truth is the truth. Here, fucking India, fucking, in, you know, Zimbabwe, it's the truth today. It was the truth 2,000 years ago. That's the truth. The truth is the unchanging shit. That's the truth. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. That's the truth. That ain't biblical. That's, it predates religions. Any of the religions that are alive today, that... The, the golden rule predates all that. We could trace it back, I think, you know, Hammurabi's code or some shit, but to Babylon. But the point being, there are truths, man. There are fucking truths. Be yourself. I'm starting to get a little, a little foggy. I'm on this sick road trip. It's been, it's been rad. 
peace and understanding between human beings. It, we don't have it because we're not at peace with ourselves. And this reality is a representation of each one of our consciousnesses. Consciousnesses? <laughs> each one of our realities fits into this fucking ocean that we call our perceived reality, our everyday reality. It's a collection of each one of our individual realities. We are creating this. And even though just a drop in the ocean, you know, seems fucking insigni insignificant, right? Like, what's a drop to the ocean? That's what I am, right? I'm just a drop. But we know about, like, butterfly effect, how a fucking butterfly flapping its wings could cause a hurricane on the other side of the world like, so even that drop has power but the biggest power we have is over that drop right like i can't control you but i can control myself and if each one of us is at peace then we'll have world peace and maybe you don't give a shit about that i kind of do because i don't want to be killed and so how can I be okay with animals being killed? How can I be okay with, right, with people in other countries getting killed? I don't want to see my mom fucking blown up by a drone strike. Then how can I be okay with drone strikes? I don't want to see, right, my sister, my best friends killed by a terrorist attack. Then how can I be okay with a terrorist attack? Because, oh, well, these motherfuckers are on my side so that that justifies it no you can't justify murder of other human beings because you're justifying your your own death you're justifying in some way you're justifying the murder of your family that's what the fuck you're doing how because we're all one but then how the fuck if somebody attacks your family and kills them what, what ground do you have to stand on to say that there's something wrong with that? If you were okay with a drone strike that fucking kill people, or you were okay with your military going to another country and killing people. Nature's fucking sick. I'm a voice for nature. I am a voice for nature. Maybe not so much nature, but just our return to nature or our return to a connection with nature. This thing functions. This thing fu functions perfectly. Actually, even us fucking it up, it'll, it'll, it'll eventually fall back into symbiosis. This, this thing is perfect. Nature is perfect. Life is perfect. Nothing's out of whack. Everything's where it's supposed to be. And yeah, we, look at this, driving through Oregon, it's so sick. No idea where I'm going. Diamond Lake but yeah man learn from nature you know nature doesn't take nothing in nature takes shit for the fuck of it right it takes it because it needs it it takes it because it's going to need it and we have created this these systems where it's good to hoard energy right we call it money it's good to hoard energy but it'll eventually fall back into alignment with nature because we are nature, right? We're not separate from it. Anyways, I was on this drive alone, left Vegas three, three days ago. I'm enjoying the fuck out of this trip, just solo out of my comfort zone, just adventuring. It's fucking rad. 
I'll post shit from from the trip as well. Love yourself. Know thyself. And you will put peace out into the universe. Because the more you know yourself, the more at peace you'll be. Peace, bitches.